Okay, so a quick rant about SAML. This talk is about 30 seconds old, so hopefully it's good. Okay, um, so my boss said to me, said, my boss said to his boss, my boss's boss said to him, there we go, uh, from now on, all of our services in the company are using SAML for login. So he says to me, I guess that's on you, Joel. What the heck is SAML? I don't know what that is. According to Wikipedia, it's SAML 2.0 enables web-based cross-domain single sign-on, which helps reduce the administrative overhead of distributing multiple authentication tokens to the user. By the way, that is a much shortened version of what Wikipedia says. There's a lot more there. But this is basically this. So what do people think about SAML? That's the next thing, right? Once you've looked at Wikipedia, you start looking for other people's thoughts. <laughs> Pretty much. The worst part about, though, I, the state of SAML on CPAN is kind of bad. And uh, there, are, there are two modules, uh, neither of which really work, one of which is even more insane than most things on CPAN. It wraps some C library that's supposed to do SAML from C, but it's you know meant to do it via uh, uh, CGI, so it has all this helpful stuff to help you do it with CGI, but no one's doing that anymore. The other one kind of should work, but there's just some things that are broken and the maintainer doesn't really care, so there's actually a little bit of a movement that was literally just starting at the same time for people to step up and fix that one. So hopefully the other one that was not totally insane will get fixed. But I needed this faster than that. So I think, well, that's odd. I guess I'll write my own. <sighs> SAML is XML and lots of XML. There's XML here, there's XML there, there's XML everywhere. There's XML SIG. Have anyone heard of XML SIG? Who's heard of XML SIG? I see one hand. So imagine you wanted to sign an XML document. Now XML has, uh, you know, it, white space like an order of attributes don't matter and namespaces and things. So you have to have a way to sign it. And oh, by the way, it's XML. So we're going to put the signature inside of the XML that you've just signed. This is a standard spec. This is a real thing. XML, um, SAML comes in four different specs. Uh, each of them are about 75 pages long. No, there, there's five specs because you have to put XML SIG in it. No, no, wait, there's like N specs because XML SIG has like a bunch of other things it pulls in. And like lots and lots of XML namespaces. So, <laughs> fine, uh, how does it work? Oh. Uh, well, there's lots of different workflows, but we can avoid most of them because most of them are for like huge enterprisey stuff. So we'll just, let's just focus on Okay, we got three parties. We have the service provider, so that's like whoever wants to consume the login. You have the identity provider, that's the one who's providing the login. In our case, that's uh, ADFS, Windows, you know, Microsoft login service, whatever thing. Uh, and then you have the actual client, who's you know, a user agent. This is the easiest workflow. Uh, as you can obviously tell, the User wants the page from the service provider who says, now nah, you got to log in first, log in over here. So he requests it from over here. This responds with an XML form that he has to give back to them, comes back to me, and now you can finally start doing stuff. <laughs> okay, fine. Um, by the way, sometimes the XML is encoded in query parameters and then signed differently. This one does that. Uh, so then there's metadata. So that was just all the messaging. They've got this other kind of interesting concept. We have metadata where the identity provider says some stuff and the service provider says some stuff about themselves. Uh, I lost a slide somewhere, so I'm just going to tell you. It might be somewhere later. This was like, I made this talk in like 15 minutes. Uh, so these things configure like, actually, I think I have it later, so I'm going to move on. So now I know SAML. Overall, it's a bit over-engineered. It's way too much XML. Once you're done, it's kind of okay. Like, it kind of works. There's, it's kind of, yeah, okay, fine. Maybe I almost like it. Not really, but, but, all right. So the promise of metadata. This is the slide I thought I had before. So you have metadata that describes yourself, 
And all you're supposed to do is exchange it with the other side. So things like, what kind of capabilities do I have? How, in which way am I going to sign this? Uh, what are the requirements? One minute, it's going to be quick. Uh, what are the endpoints you hit? What, what user data is available? And they're supposed to just talk to each other. This is a lie. You cannot just configure the other things because after hundreds of pages of specs, they just skipped the, the data formats. It's like, you're done, the person is authenticated. Oh, what's their username? <laughs> <laughs> or, or what's their email address? Or, or how do I contact them in any way? I don't know, I hope you know how to talk about those things because we only had 500 pages of spec. We couldn't possibly have just told you one. <laughs> anyway, quickly, the good news. Uh, I found a cool application called Keycloak. It's a Java-based SAML IDW provider and a couple of other things. But it's really easy to deploy. And I didn't want to have to keep going back to my, my sysadmin you know, on the other side of the company and have him test all of my, my SAML as I was testing it out. So I just deployed one of these on my own, and it actually worked really well. I could test against that. We actually added a few Mojo features so that I could do this, because uh, we didn't have CSS namespace selectors, and I needed it. And so we got those. Uh, and a DOM new tag, which helped me implement it the way I wanted to implement it. Uh, we have some new CPAN modules, Mojo SAML, and Mojo XML SIG, which is part of Mojo SAML, but I'm thinking about splitting it out. It still a, needs a high-level API. You still kind of have to understand what the XML is going to look like in order to do this. <sighs> Whatever. The module is finished, and the app was deployed within two and a half weeks, which was two days faster than the company WordPress site that had to just do simple SAML PHP, which is the standard way you do it in PHP. And then the company's main internal app can't do it yet. <laughs> so long live Whip Upitude, long live Mojalicious, and if you ever have to do this. 